guys, welcome back. So today I'm here with a chit chat, get ready with me video. I haven't done one in a while and yesterday I filmed, well, I'm gonna start doing my makeup while I talk to you guys. Um, and by the way, I already did my eyebrows because my eyebrows take the longest and I'm actually letting them grow out. So I figured I'll just do them off camera. But if you guys wanna see an eyebrow tutorial while you're letting your eyebrows grow out, let me know in the comments below because I've been struggling so much to do my brows. I know you guys have noticed in several videos you're like um have you been using something different for your brows because by the way this isn't a tutorial this is just me getting ready talking to you guys um yeah so a lot of people have been commenting like have you been using something different for your brows and i i'm like yes because i'm letting them grow, grow out because i got them threaded a while ago yeah it's been like almost two months a month and a month and a half and it's been growing so slowly so i'm just like coloring them in as they grow out so I can get a better shape the next time I go get them done and I got them threaded and I feel like when you thread your eyebrows it takes so long for them to grow out by the way to prime my face I'm going to use the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 hour perfecting primer and I'm going to talk about this in my favorites video because I've been really loving this primer especially with the foundation that I'm going to be showing today um oh I feel like you guys are going to see um, a lot of favorite products in this video because I've been using a ton of like new products lately and um, for a while I, I don't know if you guys have noticed here on my main channel but I haven't uploaded a lot of like makeup tutorials because I just really haven't been feeling inspired like as you can tell I even changed my background because I was like I was getting tired of the same thing and um, even though I had new products I just really wasn't feeling inspired and it's because in my beauty room where it, I film um, I really don't have any space like I feel so cramped I feel like everything is in here and if you guys don't follow me on my vlogging channel I, where is my foundation oh it's right here I have three different shades I have four five and six I think I'm gonna mix four and five this is the new urban decay all-nighter waterproof longwear liquid foundation um, so if you guys don't follow me on my vlogging channel you probably don't know that I'm moving again um, my lease is going to be up really soon. Yeah, this is five. So my lease is going to be up in October 31st. So we're currently looking for a new place. I honestly don't even know where we're going. Um, but I know the next two months are going to be so stressful. Like, honestly, I'm not even ready for what's about to come. Because I know last time we were looking for a place, like, we were super stressed out. Um, I feel like now we're at a better place where we know what we want. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to find a place that we both love and um, and is obviously bigger for us. So that's my main goal for the next few months is just to find a place that we absolutely love. Um, by the way, this foundation is so good. I know you guys wanted to see a review on it, but I've also been like just trying it out. By the way, the other day, I feel like I have so much to tell you guys. Um, the other day we went to walk the Brooklyn Bridge and it was like no lie it was like 102 degrees it was so hot it was sunny it was humid and I was wearing this foundation and we went we went to take some pictures this foundation stayed on the entire time like I was even surprised myself that when I got to the car the foundation was still on because my neck was sweaty my body was sweaty I know that's so disgusting but it did pass the waterproof test and the heat test so that's pretty good if you have oily skin then i feel like you will like this foundation especially if you live in a place where it's like always hot and humid um i feel like this foundation will be perfect for you and it's so full coverage that you don't even need a lot of product to cover up your entire face i feel like with one pump you're good like honestly you don't need more than one pump with this foundation so for concealer i'm gonna go in with the new tarte shape tape concealer and i have the shade light medium but i just honestly don't know where it is right now so i'm gonna go in with a medium i feel like medium is good as well it's just not as bright for my under eyes but that's fine because i'll go in with my brightening powder and just brighten my under eye but i do like this concealer it is full coverage this concealer reminds me a lot of my nars creamy concealer except i feel like it doesn't crease as much as my NARS Creamy Concealer. And I love my NARS Creamy Concealer. I feel like if you set it with the right products, then you won't have a problem with creasing. Um, but this one, you don't have to really worry about that. Like using 
extra products to make sure that you know your concealer lasts all day but i do like it i haven't bought the darker shade to contour but the next time i'm at sephora i'm definitely going to pick up the darker shades to contour i really like contouring with concealers because i just feel like it's much easier for me i was talking about contouring with the concealer and i'm actually going to do that today i'm going to use the born this way concealer in deep and i'm just going to use it to basically contour and bronze up my skin i feel like if you're lazy like me and you really don't like i mean i love contouring but sometimes i feel like it's just so much work i feel like this cuts down the steps so I'm going to move on to my eyes and then I'll come back and finish the rest of my face. On my eyes today, I think I want to use the 35O Matte Palette. I love this palette. I've talked about it so much here on my channel. But before that, I do have to prime my eyelids because I have oily eyelids. And I actually want to use... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I actually want to use something new today. I'm going to be using the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. And I just got this in the mail the other day and I was so excited because... Every time I get a new primer or a new product by a brand that I haven't really played around with, I get excited about, oh, this is thick. This is really thick. Ooh. Yeah, this is really thick. I think I applied too much. It's okay. I'll just set it with a, a nude powder. So I'm going to go in with this Sigma E55 brush and a nude shade and just basically set this primer and I do need to set it because I did put a little bit too much I'm just gonna go in with this orange shade and I'm just going to apply this all over my crease so since I haven't uploaded in a week here to my main channel I kind of want to make it up to you guys and just upload about three videos this week so let me know in the comments what videos you guys want to see I'm thinking about uploading um, after this video the Urban Decay review maybe what's new in makeup what else I have some ideas that I want to upload for you guys, but I also want to see what you guys want to see here on my channel. I've been trying to upload also on my vlogging channel because you guys have been requesting it like crazy. And I really love vlogging. It's just sometimes I feel like I'm home most of the time. And um, you guys always tell me, it doesn't matter if you're home, you guys just want to see me talk about something on my vlogging channel. So I'm going to try and do that about every two to three days on my vlogging channel. Because you guys know that I usually do my foundation after my eyeshadow. But these eyeshadows don't have a lot of fallout. So I honestly don't have a lot to worry about. But if I was using a different palette, I would do my foundation last. Just because I always like it for, for it to be fresh and I don't like anything to fall on top of it. But honestly, I feel like with these eyeshadows, I don't have that problem. Okay, I think I want to pack on a little bit of dark brown on the outer crease. So if you guys don't follow me on my vlogging channel, you might not know that I went to London a few days ago. I literally just got back about three days ago and I had so much fun. It was a really short trip, but it was probably the best trip that I've had to London. This is my second time going and a lot of people were asking why Jose didn't go. Well, he was working so he couldn't come with me. Oh my god, it is so hot in this room, you guys. Like, you have no idea. I have a fan in front of me, but even so, I feel like I'm still sweating with the fan in front of me. Okay, so I think I want to add a little bit of concealer to do sort of like a cut crease look. So let me do that right now. I do need a flat brush. Okay, here we go. We have a flat brush here. So on top of that, I'm just going to pack on the same color that I first used, which was that nude color. Oh yeah, that looks good. For eyeliner today, I'm just going to go in with the NYC liquid eyeliner, and I'm just going to create a big wing. What is that? My eyeliner came out on point today. Like literally, I'm just giving it a moment because my eyeliner never comes out even like usually one is bigger than the other and I'm like struggling to make them even so thank you so much eyeliner for making my day a little bit easier by coming out even okay <laughs> so for mascara today I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox full exposure mascara this is my second time using this and I really like it the brush is so big look at that like that's huge but I like it because it grabs every single hair. If you don't follow me on my vlogging channel, you wouldn't know this, but I started taking the hair, skin, and nails supplements for 
my hair just because I feel like my hair is taking forever to grow like I don't understand why it's taking so long to grow like I feel like it looks healthy I get a trim every two months every time I go to the salon to get my keratin I do cut my hair I cut my ends just because I like them to look very even um, and I feel like that has been helping but it hasn't been as growing as fast as I wish it was so I started taking the supplements about two three weeks ago no maybe like two and a half weeks ago and now I can say I'm seeing a difference on my hair like I washed my hair yesterday and I was like oh my god my hair looks so thick and like it just looks so much more healthier look at my lashes I feel like they look so good without falsies but you guys know I need to put on some falsies um, but I'm excited to reach the 30 day mark just to see if I see a drastic change on my hair I don't think 30 days I'll be able to see the biggest change. I think probably two months, but we'll see So I'm gonna go in with the wispies by Ardell and just apply them, but I'm excited to see um, Where's my eyelash? It was right here I'm excited to reach the one month mark just to see if I see a drastic change in my hair I can already tell that my hair looks a lot healthier after taking the supplements but like I said, the keratin has also been making a really big difference on my hair because the keratin, what the keratin does, it, it basically locks every single strand of hair in your head and it makes it easier for your hair to grow and it also locks it so it doesn't break as easily as it, as it was if you didn't have the keratin. So it's not only to control your frizz or to get rid of your curls, which is really great because like me, I'm trying to grow out my hair and... I'm having a really hard time, so I feel like the keratin is just making it easier for me. This eyelash glue is done. I need to go to Sephora after this and buy a new eyelash glue. Lately, I've been loving these Ardell Wispies because they show my makeup. And honestly, if you spend 20 to 30 minutes doing your eye makeup, blending, I mean, you want to show off your eye makeup, right? <laughs> so I feel like these just show my eye makeup, so I've been really loving them lately. So under my brows, I'm going to go in with this matte vanilla shade and a Sigma E54 brush. And I'm just going to apply this right here. And I'm so hungry because he actually just went to get us Chipotle before he goes to work. I think I want to stay with the car today because I do have to go to Sephora. And um, I want to get a salad for dinner tonight at the Cheesecake. Shayla's salad from the Cheesecake Factory is so so good if you haven't had it definitely order it the next time you're there something else that i like from cheesecake is what is it the chipotle chicken pasta but order it without the peas i don't really like peas so without the peas i feel like it's oh, it's perfection um wait under my lower lashes i was just thinking about food and i started like to daydream <laughs> so under my lower lashes i'm gonna take this chestnut brown and the same brush and I'm just going to pack this under my lower lashes to smoke out the look a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to bronze up my skin now because that's all I'm missing in my blush. So to bronze up my skin today, I think I want to use my NARS Laguna because I love this so much. And I've been using the Mr. Right brush by Too Faced and oh my god. Honestly, I don't know where it has been all my life this brush is amazing for so many different purposes like you can use this to bronze you can use it to contour you can use it for your blush i love brushes like this that you can use for so many different things and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to see this in my favorites video i'm pretty late with my favorites video but that's going to go up either before or after this video i usually upload my favorites at the beginning of the month but this month has just been so crazy so i'm gonna upload it like i said mid august oh my god i can't believe we're in august it's so crazy how time is just passing by so quickly um before we know it it's gonna be new year's Ooh. the other day i was thinking like i never pictured my life to be how it is five years ago like five years ago i was mentally like so lost i did like i was just lost mentally five years ago so it's so crazy to see where my life is right now five years later you know what i mean like do you guys do you guys ever think about that i think about that sometimes because it's great to see you it's, it's great to see yourself progress and it's great to see yourself do much better than where you were before so it's just i don't know it just feels really good to know that you're doing something for yourself you know you know 
you know <laughs> it's just thoughts that I always have in my mind I always think about these things um, and if you're not where you want to be right now you don't worry because so much happens in a month so much happens in a day so much happens in a week so just make the best of the situation you're in and continue working towards what you really want in life and you will get it that's my motto and that's how it's always been if you work hard enough for what you want then you will get it no matter what happens nobody will be able to stop you if you have that you know passion I need to just bronze up my neck because I feel like my neck looks a little bit lighter than the rest of my face oh my <gasps> what is that oh eyeliner wow I am officially the clumsiest person ever did I tell you guys oh I didn't even tell you guys so the other day I'm in the bathroom and I go ahead and go in the bathtub to close the window and I have a glass door in my bathroom I don't know if you guys know I'm pretty sure you guys do if you see my vlogs but I have a glass door so there was like a towel hanging over it so I like close the window I turn around and I walk out right well, I walked right into the glass. Like, literally hit my head so hard. Oh, my God. I have eyeliner everywhere. I walk out of the bathroom, and I'm, like, dizzy. I'm, like, like falling all over the place. Because he's like, what happened? I'm like, I just hit myself in the glass. I didn't even see it. Like, it, it just it happened so fast. And then when I look in the mirror, I had a black and blue right here. Like, you guys can't see it because that happened about two days ago. I have eyeliner everywhere. I was talking about this on my Snapchat. I was saying how, I don't know if, like, it's an Aquarius thing. I don't know if you guys are into, like, horoscopes and stuff like that. But I'm, like, constantly wanting change. Like, when I see something that has been the same in my apartment for a really long time, I just get really anxious. And I need to move it around. I need to change it. I need to just replace it. I don't know. It's just weird. And I... I realized this in my last apartment because where's my NARS orgasm? I feel like that's what I want to wear today. Um, let me just pull out this blush. So I was, I realized that in my last apartment, actually, no, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Love Hangover blush. My last apartment was the size of my living room and my kitchen right now. So it was like 500 square feet, it was so small. But um, I was like moving things around all the time. And I was like, oh my God, what was wrong with me? It's, it's like OCD or something. But it was just so weird. And I've been doing that here in my new house too. Like my coffee table is constantly changing. Like every week there is something different on it. I'm like, you know what? I'm just not going to put anything on it. That way I don't have to feel like I have to change it or move it or replace things. Um, so for highlight today, wait, where is that special brush? that I just recently got, oh, it's right here. I just got this Morphe R36 brush and it's perfect for highlighting. For highlighting today, for highlighting, <laughs> to highlight today, I'm gonna go in with the Dior Skin Nude Air 001 highlight. I just got this off Nordstrom the other day. It's beautiful, it's so gorgeous. It's right in the middle between, I wanna say Champagne Pop and Gilded Honey by, um, matte cosmetics like, so beautiful and this brush just places the highlight exactly where you want it to go like if you're not sure where to apply your highlight just feel on your face like right here that bone on the highest points of your cheekbones and that's where you want to apply your highlight and if you feel like it's not showing up like maybe your skin is super matte just apply a little bit of fix plus or your setting spray on the brush dip it into the highlight and then it'll show up so much better. And I wanna buy a backup because I feel like when more people start realizing that it's in stock, it's gonna sell out. And then I'm gonna be like, oh damn, I should've bought another one. And I'm so glad that I bought a backup for my MAC one. What is it, for this one right here? Because the other day I dropped this one and look at it, it's like all broken. So I'm like, oh, thank God I have a backup. So if you ever love something so much, buy a backup on my lips today i'm going to use venus by huda beauty and to be honest with you guys this is not my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks because i don't feel like it's very long wearing but this is a very pretty color for like an everyday wear so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and I would totally do it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one very soon. Bye guys.